you activate drift mode in the new 603 horsepower Mercedes AMG E63 S4 Matic Plus by tapping the dynamic toggle switch to race mode, turning all the electronic no fun nets off, placing the transmission in manual mode, and finally pulling both paddle shifters toward you. Supposedly, a prompt then appears and asks if you really and truly, no jokingly want to electromechanically decouple the drive shaft that powers the front differential. I say supposedly, because drift mode was disabled in all three of the latest descendants of the original hammer I drove on the launch of the new AMG E63 around Faro, Portugal. I should clarify, I drove them on the street. The two examples of the bruising sedan I played with on Portimai's superlative Autodromo Algarve International Circuit did in fact have drift mode intact, just like American customer versions will have when the W213E63S goes on sale sometime in the summer of 2017 as a 2018 model. The thing is, the red musty mental space of a racetrack seemed like the wrong place to experiment with a feature AMG wouldn't even let us attempt in public. Why no drift mode? AMG needed to get around 100 journalists from all over the world testing the cars within a couple of weeks. They couldn't lose any cars. Do I like the excuse? No do I understand it? Sure how is the new E63, then, sends drift mode? I'll start with the engine because like with all AMGs, that's the heart of the matter. American buyers won't be offered the 563 horsepower, 553 pound FT of torque non-SQD version. Instead, Every US spec E63 model will be the fully mental 603 horsepower, 627 pound FT of torque S variant with AMG's now ubiquitous 4.0 liter twin turbo V8, known internally as the M177 for E63 duty. Both power and torque are up in part because the comically named hot inner V turbos are now twin scroll turbochargers. In addition to the twin scrollers, the engine packs new pistons, a new intake manifold, new intercoolers, and updated software.